talking about the mix and match series and what I've been doing off camera. So. Off camera, I tried um, this main choice pink lemonade and coconut mousse um, with three different leave-ins. So I had a, a couple of, um, I had a little bit of two products. So I had a little bit of this left. This will be an empty. So please stay tuned for my next empty video. Um, and then I had a little bit of the Mish Curl bounce cream i'll leave it on the screen and then i used this on one side of my head because i have a ton of this so on this side of my head i used this combo on a quarter of my head the front section i used this combo and then on the back section, I used this with the Mish Curl Defining Cream, um, which is one of my favorites, by the way. So let's get into the biggest combo section. So I use this on the right side of my head. Um, the application was good. This is super thick, sis. It's always been thick. I have a video about it. Um, the Cream of Nature Pure Honey Curl Activator. Jumping right to the chase. Cutting right to the chase. Jumping right to the chase. <laughs> this is too thick for summer hair. Um, when I put, when I paired these together, this gave so much hold, like my hair felt hard, but this, this had the moisture in it. So, you know, you have, you can feel it, but my hair felt really, really heavy. So if you have fine hair, like I do, your hair will feel kind of heavy. I don't know if I like put too much of this on, but this is a thick, heavy product anyway. So I would not pair these two together for how I like my hair. Now, um, if you're more coilier and more coarser, you might like this combo because it gives the hold. Um, it's not like, it was, to me, it was crunchy. Um, but again, you have to know how I like my hair. So I think that the crunch that most girlies like, that like a crunch or a heavy hold, this may be like a medium hold for you. But for me, it was like heavy. Like I did a braid out with it and um, yeah, it was just heavy and I didn't like it. So for me, this is not a good combo, um, but you can try it. It didn't mess up it didn't flake um i felt a lot of hold with this but once you did the took the twist or the braids out um it felt pretty good but it was heavy like i felt the product on my hair if that makes sense um and i know you can feel product on your hair it's just it's just a preference this is a combo that it works but how do you like your hair is the question so leave a comment down below if you've tried Either, either of these and if you would try any this combo um I hate that I didn't have any pictures but I was just like I don't even like the way my hair feels but I could have documented it so my bad sis my bad bro but here are my thoughts about it and um so I low-key high-key will take this out of the um mix and match series because for me this is a winter product like it's good with moisture it's good with definition um because you've seen my twist out video with this but it's just too much for the summer for me and my hair like 70 80 90 degree weather no but if it's in the 20s or belows 40s 50s yeah 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 so there's that. And then I tried on the front side, the front quarter of my hair, this combo. I actually loved it. Um, this gives definition by itself. Um, I Please be sure to check out my um, 
next empties video. Click the bell notification, subscribe if you have not already. Um, I really like this combo with a, another mousse that I have. Please check out my um, mousse content with leave-ins. Um, but yeah, this one did the same thing. I still felt uh, it was a bit hard at first, um, but they paired well together. Um, it gave more hold than um, the other combo. And do I have it? It gave more hold than... Hold on, sis. Hold on, bro. It gave more hold than this. This was like perfect for me. Um, but this gave a little bit more like castiness you know um felt good no flaking whatever whatever and then the last part this with the mish child it flaked it flaked it felt it felt similar to this combo um with the mish curl defining bounce cream i think that's what it's called anyway i'm leaving a picture on the screen but then this combo Plague. And I guess Mish just doesn't work well with other things. I'm not sure. Still the crunch was there. Um, but it was the it was more of a right balance for me um, than when using it with this leave-in. So this side of my hair, I felt like, oh okay but I had flakes in the back, not significant enough to wash my hair. You know, like how you just see them when you move your hair, but it's not like when you look at your hair, it's just like, oh my God, I see flakes or, you know what I mean? It was like, I could deal with it until the next wash day flakes. If you know, you know, that's sad to say, but it's the struggle of trying new combinations combinations, combinations and new products. Um, so all in all, I would say I would like this product. I, this is coming out of the woodworks with being a great leave-in, but you need some more umph to, you need some more umph to um, give this hold. But this, this adds a bit more hold than I, like just keeping it 100. Um, I have tried this with its uh, sherbet and I liked it. I mean, I felt like my hair felt pretty good, but I only tried it once, so I don't know. Um, I'm not sure, but the girls may like this. I have tried this as a one and done with a wash and go. Girl, roots, puff, puff. Roots are puff, puff. So, um, yeah.